Preston Physics Grade 11 Forces Note 5 Newton's First Law and Inertia When we're looking at Newton's first law and inertia, the first thing we need to do is to define what inertia actually is. Now, inertia is an object's resistance to acceleration. Now, the heavier the object, the more it resists acceleration. So the harder it is to actually push. So if we have a really heavy object and you think about it, it's hard to actually start it moving. It's hard to accelerate it. So this kind of makes sense. It's resisting acceleration more because it's heavier. Now, if you read through your note, you'll find that Newton's first law, or N1L, what it really is, it's just saying that objects want to keep doing what they're doing. They don't want to accelerate at all. They want to stay doing exactly what they're doing. If they're in motion, they want to stay in motion. If they're at rest, they want to stay at rest. Now let's predict why dishes stay put on a table when a tablecloth is yanked out from under them like you see on TV all the time. We'll talk about that in class tomorrow. The next thing we need to look at are frames of reference. Now when we're talking about this, we're going to look at two specific frames of reference. An inertial frame of reference, which means we're moving either at rest, so we're not moving, or constant velocity. And then just non-inertial, which means that there's some acceleration. So we're either speeding up or slowing down. There's a change in our velocity. Now. There's a way we can tell this, and this isn't a technical term, but the way we're going to figure out whether we're in an inertial or non-inertial frame is by using what's called the fuzzy dice test. Think of those fuzzy dice that you used to see in cars a long time ago, or if you watch a 90s TV show, you see them hanging from the windshield. Now, if the dice is hanging straight down, well, that means we're either at rest, the car's not moving, or we're moving at a constant velocity. If the dice is slanted or has some sort of angle or isn't straight down, that means there's an acceleration in some direction. Now we don't know which direction it is, but we have a good idea of how we can figure it out. So I want you to answer what happens if the dice swing forward, if the dice swing backwards, if the dice are swinging left, and if the dice are swinging to the right. Which way are we accelerating in each case? The questions for this note are 16 to 18 in your yellow duotangs. We will also look at the tablecloth situation and the fuzzy dice situations in class tomorrow and discuss them in a little bit more depth. 